the chemical engineering degree in four minutes. Let's get started. Okay, 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 okay. The very first year of engineering is essentially not that much into engineering, it's towards working to have a solid background on engineering. So first things first, you're going to have mathematics, you're going to have chemistry, and you're going to have physics. The very first course on mathematics, it's about derivatives, rate of changes, speed, velocity, and all that. The very first course on chemistry will be general chemistry. Then we get to physics, and in this case, we're going to be analyzing first, second, and third law of physics. Now, the second part will be, of course, once again, mathematics, chemistry, and physics. Now in mathematics you're going to be studying integrals which is the reverse of a derivative. Actually you will see that in engineering there's a lot of integrals. Regarding chemistry you're going to start with analytical chemistry and regarding physics or physics 2 we're going to be working with fluids. The second year is going to have finally some engineering. We're talking about material balances which as the name implies talks about how to balance all the mass going in and all the mass going out. Regarding mathematics, we're going to start with mathematics number three, which is essentially 3D math and multivariable math. Then we get to the third topic of chemistry, which is going to be organic chemistry. As you can imagine, it's going to talk about alkanes, alcohols, aldehydes, carboxylic acid, esters, ethers, amines, and so on. Regarding the physical part, finally, we're going to encounter electricity and magnetism. The second part of the second year is going to be now energy balances, which is a complementary course to material balances. So before we just studied material balances, but now we have material and energy. So if there is a chemical reaction, typically it will be exothermic or endothermic. If you have something mechanically adding energy, you will have to account for that. You can see the interaction between material and energy. And instead of physics, we're going to get started with thermodynamics, which is actually a engineering course, which is great. Not much more physics, now thermodynamics. In this specific course, we're going to review the first, second, and third law, but more importantly, applications of such laws into actual engineering applications. In the other hand, I'm talking about transport phenomena, which is one of the craziest topics that you are going to encounter as a chemical engineer. Very abstract, very hard to understand, and most of the books for chemical engineers on this topic are almost impossible to understand. Third year is one of the most interesting ones and actually one of my favorite ones. You're going to start with unit operation, meaning that you're going to understand how heat transfer works and heat transfer equipment, how to design and operate. Then we have momentum transport or fluid mechanics, whatever the name, and we're going to be working with fluids, both in stationary and moving. More importantly, we're going to be working with piping system, pumping, compressors, then we get to work with mass transfer operations. As the name implies, we're going to be working with those operations in charge of changing mass or concentration. We're talking about flashes, we're talking about distillation, we're talking about absorption, lexiviation, leaching, extraction, and so on. And finally, guys, we are going to be working with reactors, isothermal reactors, non-isothermal reactors, adiabatic reactors, mechanism of reactions, and much more. And finally, guys, the last year of engineering. You're going to put all the pieces together and be able to start designing, operating, optimizing, analyzing chemical plants. But not only that, you're going to also work towards the economics of a chemical plant. How much is going to cost? How much should we invest? On how much time are we getting our return of investment? How to improve your process? How to make it more environmentally friendly? How to decrease utilities on the long run? You're going to be adding process control, process safety, and process automation. And finally, you're going to have your final project, which is most likely going to be working with process design, process analysis, some financing, some economics, whatever the case this might be, ensure that you have fun with that project. And that's it, guys. This is the chemical engineering degree in four minutes. I'll see you in the next video.